Hey, thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about using luster dust. Why you would want to use it, the one word that comes to my mind is shiny. It has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. And you, you can look at the difference right next to the petal dust. It has a nice metallic sheen to it. Here's the golden bronze luster dust. And here's the Kelly Green petal dust. You can see the difference. The One is more matte and one's more shiny. So let me show you how to use it. So here I have a few detail pieces that I want to really accent with luster dust. So down here, a few tassels and a few little pearl molds, and they're just done in white gum paste and ready to go on the cake. Let me show you how to mix it together. Here I'm going to use the Claret luster dust. It's a nice, pretty kind of burgundy red. And what I'm going to do is take my paintbrush. I don't want to try to tap it into the container because it'll all fall out in there. I really just need a little bit. It goes a long way. So I'm just going to pull it into the container with my brush, and then I'm going to use a pure grain alcohol. The higher the alcohol content in this, the better it's going to mix. You're not going to have the brush strokes and sort of things. Now, how much I'm pouring in there, it's so small, it's kind of equal amounts. So you could maybe use like an eighth of a teaspoon measure, or if you're painting more details, then you can do uh, a larger, like a quarter teaspoon or a half teaspoon. That dust is not wasted. If you let it evaporate out, then it will turn back to dust and you can use it again. Now, what you can notice in here is the consistency of it. It's not real drippy and it's not real pasty. It's just a nice, even consistency. And I've got it on my brush and ready to paint. So I'm just gonna go over here and paint one of my tassels. If you have a thinner mix, then you might wanna go back over and do it twice. You can see how this is picking up all the details in the tassel. See that, that rope texture it's picking up? All right. Just going to go back over and it dries so fast. This is why you want to use the alcohol as opposed to a water or like a vanilla extract. Those don't have a very high alcohol content and what's going to happen is it's going to sit on your gum paste and make it just wet and gummy and you don't want that. So you'll let that dry just a second and then go back with another coat and it just really makes it pop. So I took a second away and went ahead and mixed the gold together for you. Same thing, equal parts of the alcohol and the gold dust. So this is a little pearl mold that I have it taken out of. Sorry, that's moving around on me a little bit. I'll hold that still. And again, you can go back with a second coat. One thing if this is sitting on the cake already you'll want to be careful of is not to slop behind it and get it on the cake. If you want to paint it on individually like off the cake and then apply it to the cake that would work really well. This looks really great on lace pieces, on um, like draperies, that sort of thing. And you can also paint really bold stripes like maybe for a carnival cake or something like that. But this is a really great way to make your details pop. So we'll go back and do a couple more coats on that and then you can see the finished product. So hopefully there's some information for you that makes using luster dust a little bit more simple for you. And if you look here at the finished product, I put a few more coats on the gold and the claret. And then I went ahead and did some midnight blue luster dust on this large tassel. That might be really cute for a graduation cake. But I think you can see just by using some luster dust that you can really make some of your details in your cake come alive. So check out some colors out there, see what works for your cake, and have fun with it.